Good morning guys, what is up? Today is day seven in the San Francisco vlog series and I have a really big announcement for you guys today. We are officially a cooking channel. <laughs> Give it up guys, we are a cooking channel for today. A lot of you guys have been sending requests to drop my oatmeal recipe and today is the day. Yesterday I didn't get around to it, but today we're doing it, we're here. Let's get to it. Starting off the recipe guys, you're gonna have to gather your ingredients. So here we have old fashioned oats, the best type of oats. If you don't have it, you should get it. Peanut butter, honey, and a bowl and spoon. You guys also need some hot water, so be sure to get that ready. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your old fashioned oats and pour your desired amount of oats into a bowl. Keep in mind that the oats are going to expand inside the microwave when you heat them up. So pour maybe a little bit less than what you think you're gonna eat. So for right now, I've already had breakfast. I had a little bit of cereal and a few eggs. So I'm gonna just make a little bit of oatmeal, but you can make as much as you like, just as long as you don't put too much to overflow the bowl when it's in the microwave. This is all I'm gonna make right now because like I said, I already had breakfast earlier. But with that being said, let's move on to the next clip. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take hot water, the hottest water you can get from your sink, and you're gonna pour it into the bowl just so it covers the oatmeal one fourth to one half of an inch. I can probably use a little bit more water. Perfect, right there. Come over to the microwave and stick your bowl of oatmeal directly in the center of the microwave so you can heat that bad boy up. What you're gonna wanna do is heat it up for a minute and 30 to a minute and 45 seconds. Usually I find that a minute 30 is better for me. My dad likes a little bit longer. He maybe goes 145 to 150. But as of right now, we're just gonna wait for this to finish and I'll show you the final product. Now guys, while that is warming up, I totally forgot to tell you about this crucial ingredient to the recipe. It is milk. You can use 2% milk. Sounds like it's already done, but I'm gonna finish this. You can use 2% milk, almond milk, any of those will work, but for me personally, I like to use 2% in my oatmeal. So with the oatmeal done cooking in the microwave, you're gonna take it out. Be sure to not burn yourself with the bowl. I burn myself a couple times, but this is what it should look like. It should have a nice liquidy glaze over it, although it should not be overpowering the oatmeal. The oatmeal should be a little bit dry. If it's too dry, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna be adding some liquid milk later in the recipe. With the oatmeal out of the microwave, guys, now is the most fun part of the recipe. We're gonna add the peanut butter, the honey, the cinnamon, and the milk. Our oatmeal is looking a little bit dry, guys, but we're gonna add our other ingredients, and in the end, the milk is gonna make it perfect. I usually like to put a lot of honey because it really makes it taste good in the end. Finally, guys, we're gonna add the ground cinnamon into the oatmeal. I'm not a big fan of cinnamon. My dad liked to put a lot of cinnamon, but I'm just gonna put a little bit just to give it some extra flavor. And again, stir that around in the oatmeal. So I'm just putting in small amounts of milk every single time and I'm stirring it afterwards just so I can get that evenness throughout the entire bowl. And with that guys, that is the complete recipe for my famous oatmeal. If you did enjoy this segment guys, just let me know in the comments and tell me what you wanna see me cook. I can do anything with that. On to the next segment. So I just hopped in the car guys and I'm gonna give you a rundown on what the rest of the day is gonna look like. I'm gonna drive to the Tennessee Trail parking lot area which is around 15 minutes north of me. I'm gonna drive there park and hopefully do a six mile really good run to the Tennessee beach and back. So I just made it to the trailhead guys and I know for you it's only gonna be like two seconds transition in between these two clips but that was probably one of the scariest moments of my life. This was the first time I went on California interstates and let me tell you, driving in California is a totally different ball game than driving in Texas. In Texas, people are a little bit more nicer and the roads are more straight. But here in California, you're driving on the side of a mountain and the roads are curvy all the way through. My heart is racing. Luckily, I got this really good parking spot right in the middle of the parking lot. So thankfully, I didn't have trouble parking. But wow, I am very scared to go back on that interstate. I think we'll make it through, guys. I'm praying, I'm praying I don't crash this entire trip. I'll try to be as careful as I can. I'm not going to vlog ever when I'm driving on the interstate. But with that being said, guys, let's get this run in. I made it to 
Tennessee Beach. It's actually less mileage than I thought. On Google, it was saying like three miles to the beach, but I only clocked in 1.88. I don't know where I went wrong, but hey, I made it to the beach. My pace is around seven minute mile. It's nice out here. I can sit here all day listening to the waves. It's just so pretty. Someday before I leave back to Texas, I'm gonna just come here with my towel and I'm just gonna sit here for maybe two to three hours just soaking in the beach. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. So I gotta get back on the road and get back running. I don't wanna leave. By tomorrow I should be at 100% again. Overall, really good run. I might do a short two mile cool down later in the day. One last view before I go. So instead of going home, I found this park on my mapping system and it was Martin Luther King Park, I think, in Sausalito. And I saw that there was kind of like a track resemblance oval shape. So I'm going to quickly park here, ride my bike over to Martin Luther King Park, maybe run a few laps, maybe do a cool down, some stretching, ride my bike back, and that's going to be it. So let's go check out Martin Luther King Park in Sausalito, California. I just biked maybe two minutes from the parking lot and we just arrived here at Martin Luther King Jr. Park. But anyway, guys, this is pretty nice. It's just a little green area with a little track around the, the field. Some basketball courts. I think some pickleball courts. This track around the field though, I'm very interested to see how far distance wise this is. So I'm gonna do a quick test run to see how far it is using my Garmin GPS to track the distance on this thing. I'll have the update for you in just a second. And we're back. So I just ran the loop around this park, Martin Luther King Park. And it turns out the outside track distance is 0.34 miles. So approximately three laps would get you one mile. But just to show you more of what's around here, they have tennis courts up there, pickleball courts right here, two basketball courts, a fitness working out area over here, although it's closed for coronavirus. And then we also have a fenced in playground atop that small hill, which is also, I think, closed for COVID-19. And then we have this massive field. This would be fun just to relax, maybe have a picnic. Man, that sounds really good right now. I think I'm just hungry. I just decided I'm gonna be doing a track workout today. Probably 0.33 or a third of a mile repeats, just one lap around this track. Probably gonna do maybe six of them. I'm shooting for two minute time or under because that would put me at a six minute mile pace. But yeah, let's get into it. Six laps, a third of a mile each, all under sub two. That's a sub six pace. Woo! Out here at Martin Luther King Park in Sausalito, California. Let's go, man, let's go. Well, y'all, I made it back to my room, and honestly, today was a really productive day for me. I ran four miles at Tennessee Beach. I explored some of Sausalito, 
and I got to see a new park, Martin Luther King Park in Sausalito, California. In addition, today was my first day ever driving on California interstates by myself. And although it was really scary, I was really excited because that opens up a whole new field and opportunity north and south of us that I can go explore now. But with that being said, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the episode. I really hope you enjoy the video. I'm enjoying editing and shooting these vlogs for you guys. It's just an amazing experience. I've always wanted to do this ever since I was a little kid. I wanted to video edit and do a vlog, but I never had the time and I never had the equipment or the energy or the motivation, but now there's no excuses. I'm doing it and I'm really happy. Well, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.